Hello world, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be tackling another related rates problem, this time involving a resistor network in parallel. This problem states that we have two resistors in parallel, R1 and R2, where the total resistance is defined by this formula, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 equals 1 over R total. If R1 is increasing at a rate of 0 0.4 ohms per minute and R2 is decreasing at a rate of 0 0.7 ohms per minute, what is the rate of change of the total resistance R when R1 equals 80 and R2 equals 105? So let's just write out all of our givens here to the side. So we know that R1 equals 80 ohms, R2 equals 105 ohms, dr1 with respect to time so the rate of change of r1 with respect to time is 0 0.4 ohms per minute the rate of change of resistance 2 with respect to time is negative 0 0.7 ohms per minute this wants to know what is the rate of change of the total resistance r so we want to find dr sub t with respect to time. Now we're given this formula for r sub t, but we need to find its rate of change. So to do this, we're going to take the implicit derivative and solve for the term dr sub t over dt. Now instead of using these fractions, let's go ahead and rewrite this equation with negative exponents. So let's start with r sub t, the total resistance to the negative 1 power, is r sub 1 to the negative 1 plus r sub 2 to the negative 1. This equation here is the same thing as this, it's just written in negative exponents. Now the next step of this is to actually find the total resistance if one resistance is 80 and the other is 105. So to do that, we're simply going to plug it into this equation here. We're going to say r sub t to the negative 1 is r1, which is 80, to the negative 1 power, plus r2, which is 105 ohms, to the negative 1 power. So now we get r sub t to the negative 1 is 80 to the negative 1 power which is 0 0.0125 plus 1 divided by 105 which is 0 0.00952 we add these together and we get r sub t to the negative 1 is 0 0.0220 now remember that this is to the negative power so if we divide 1 by this number we get R sub t is 45.4 ohms. Now let's go ahead and start taking some derivatives. To take the implicit derivative of this, we say d over dt of R sub t to the negative 1 is d over dt of R1 to the negative 1 plus R2 to the negative 1. This is simply the power rule, so we say negative R sub t to the negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. Now we add our implicit derivative, dr sub t over dt, equals negative r1, because we're pulling the power down, negative 2, dr sub 1, dt, plus negative r2, negative 2, dr sub 2 over dt. Now, in reality, from here, it's mostly just being consistent with your algebra and not making an algebra mistake. So let's try to simplify all of this symbolically first and then plug and chug in the last step. So first, let's isolate dr over dt equals negative r1, negative 2, dr over dt minus r2 negative 2 dr sub 2 dt in order to get rid of this term here we have to multiply both sides 
by negative r sub t to the positive 2 power. Multiplying both sides by the positive 2 power will allow us to add the exponents and make this 0 so it goes away, but we're still left with negative r sub t to the positive 2 power on the right hand side. Here we see that we can factor out this negative, both of these, this is actually plus a negative, so both of these terms have a negative, so we can rewrite this as dr sub t over dt equals negative 1 times r1 negative 2 dr dt plus r2 negative 2 power, let me rewrite those x subscripts there, dt. Now also see that this is actually an rt squared. This has a negative here. So we can also factor out that negative one from this rt term. We'll notice that we have two negative ones. So a negative times a negative is a positive. So these negatives go away. Now we're simply left with an algebraic equation here. So let's simplify this from the negative exponents back to fractions. So now we have 1 over r1 squared times dr1 over dt plus 1 over r2 squared dr2 over dt multiplied by rt squared. Remember above that we have all of our given information here. So let's just go ahead and copy all that down. We know all of these numbers, so let's just start plugging and chugging. This shows us that 1 over 80 squared, 80 squared is 6400, dr1 over dt is 0 0.4 ohms per minute. This is ohms squared on the bottom plus 1 over 105 squared. 105 squared is 11,025. Multiply by the rate of change of R2, which is negative 0 0.7 ohms per minute. We see on the outside of this equation, we have RT squared. And up here we, sat, we found that RT is 45.4. So 45.4 squared is 2061 ohm squared. Let's go ahead and get rid of this so that it's a little bit neater. At this point, all we have to do is plug numbers into our calculator and we'll be given an answer. So we have 0.4 divided by 6400 plus negative 0.7 divided by 11,025. All of this times 2061 gives us negative 0.00204. Now let's go ahead and work out these units. So on the inside of these parentheses, we had two like terms added. So that's ohms divided by ohms squared per minute. And on the outside, all of this was multiplied by ohms squared. So these ohms squared canceled out, and we're given that dr sub t over dt equals negative 0.00204 ohms per minute. I hope this video was helpful to everyone out there in calculus and please feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.